Good morning, guys. Good morning. I just want to see if I can answer questions that so many of you have asked. The question is, I have a new team member, so what's next? Okay, long time ago, guys, when I joined, when I became a consultant, I just had to figure my way out, figure my way through this thing by reading the information that was that came in the kit. And the things that they put in there was like to go to your workstation, uh, the, the, the consultant guide and that sort of thing. That's what I did personally. So when you get a new team member, it's your responsibility to coach them and to guide them, but you don't necessarily have to hold their hand. So let me tell you the things that I do whenever somebody join my team. The first thing I do is have them to send me a picture. I have an app that's called Fortify, and this is something that's available to all consultants at a cost. I think it's like $8 a month. So I have them to send me a picture, and I go ahead and put welcome to the team, welcome to the family on the flyer. And the next thing I do, there's digital business cards in Fortify, so I'm starting to make them a digital business card so that they can text that out to people that they know. The next thing I do is go and create a, a group on Facebook for them because I want to help them with their launch party. I used to have them to do it, but now I do it because I want to make sure it's done right. So because I mass recruit, I have to know where these are. So I always call it their first name VIP. So if their name is Jane, I'll call it Jane's VIP group. So I set that up and I invite Jane to the group. I make her the admin and tell her to add all her friends and family to that VIP group. So long, I guess last year sometime, I took a set of products at one of my events and I went live with it and I showcased the products. I call it my What Is Scentsy video and I demonstrate the products. I talk about the wax and warmers, the bars, and just the things that Scentsy sell in this video. I saved it to my phone. So each time somebody joined, I upload that video to their VIP group and have my new team member to tag everybody in the group. I also have some verbiage for them to introduce what they're doing. There's some verbiage that I put together a long time ago and it's in this group already. It's in the guides. So I did that because a lot of people don't know what to say as a new consultant. They don't know how to introduce what they're doing. So I have that verbiage that I give to them. I tell them to post it to their, their Facebook page and their group. So they do that. Then I send them a list of groups to join. There are lots of groups in Facebook. So I send them a whole long list of groups that they can join. So I, my goal is to guide them to success. I want them to be able to find things on their own. The next thing I do is give them a link to sign into their workstation. Of course, you know, they have to have their consultant ID to sign in. So once they sign in, I'm either on the phone with them or do it via messenger, walking them through setting up a party. And it's a good idea to have more than one. So I make sure they have a party set up in the workstation. And I make sure I tell them to do their first things first checklist. So as they're doing their first things first checklist, I tell them to make sure they check it off. And sometimes there may be some issues with doing it on the phone, so I tell them to go to the desktop or laptop. But they have to check it off as they go. Otherwise, when they hit those levels, sensational start levels, they won't, they won't be able to claim those, those prizes. I make sure I tell them about what they will get within their first 15 days when they hit shooting start. So I tell them about that. And once they get their kit... I tell them to go live with that starter kit or do selfies with it. The next thing I tell them is to make sure they use their products because if they're not using their products, they can't experience the greatness and be able to tell others about it. Be excited. I tell them to shout out through the rooftop. They are now a Sensi consultant. But at the same time, I tell them that people don't know what Sensi is. So it's our responsibility to show them what it is, explain to them what it is. That consultant guide is everything. Refer them to the consultant guide because it's got all sorts of information in there. And also the product guide. The product guide has information there about the actual products. 
Simple as that, guys. Those are the steps that I take, and I celebrate the wins. Everything I, everything they do, I celebrate them. I cheer them on. For example, if they add, let's say they start out with about 10 people in their VIP group, and then the next day they got 20. I will actually screenshot that and shout them out and say they got, oh, congratulations. They're building and growing their VIP group. But at the same time, I tell them don't focus only in the VIP group. You want to be in every, every possible place. You want to be everywhere. The goal is to get the word out. Don't limit yourself. Limitations limit your success. So I make sure I tell them that. I also have a chat. I have a chat that I put together for all of my new team members. So as I get them to go in the chat together so they can grow together, they can pick it back off one another, and they can see how I tell them to make sure you're not comparing yourself, but it inspires them to keep going. So those are the things that I do, guys, with my onboarding. And you want to make sure you stay on top of them the first 70 days because that's the most crucial time for them to either stay or go within the first 70 days. You stay with them just to check in on them and see how they're doing, see what tips you can offer them, be their cheerleader, guide them, make sure they go to their workstation to check the news tap on a regular basis, make sure they know how to use those, make sure they have a phone number to Sensi, make sure they always check in in the groups that you, uh, your main group, your SSD group, your director's group, make sure they're active in those groups, make sure they, they know how to shout themselves out, and also make sure they like other posts, you know, connect with other consultants. So those are the things that I do. I know it sounds like a whole lot, but it really isn't when you start doing it. It becomes part of what you do, but that's how you gain. That's how you help them to gain success. Simple things, because I've heard many people say, well, how do you do it? How do you onboard them? These are things that I do. Really basic stuff. Anything I do is simple and basic. Anybody can do it. Love you guys. Happy Sunday.